Down towards Ali Baker. Didn't make a connection. It says Mike Houlihan appreciating the urgency now of Limerick's need. In towards Pat Heffernan. Runs in. David Fitzgerald reading the signals. Fumbled. And that's going to be a 65. Jerry, at the start of the game, I said that uh, I felt the Limerick forwards are too far out. I can't understand why TJ, TJ Ryan is so far out and, and uh, when the ball drops into the full forward line because he's outside the full forward instead of, instead of being inside in case the ball broke inside. And three or four balls have gone wide on that particular side. Truth is, he's been out of the match by and large. So the 65 to be taken by Gary Kirby. His 12 points against Tip included a penalty, a 65, and seven ordinary frees. Where's this one going to end up? Over the bar! A third point for Gary Kirby, and the lead changing hands now for the fifth time. Cinders. There's nearly 31 minutes gone, and Limerick are only seven points, and Clare won three against the Breeze. That's a tremendous score for Clare. Yes, Clare, I think, will be the happier. But they've been in happy positions in the past as well after a first half. And they haven't always gone on to justify the faith of their fans. Oh, that's a bad pass there by Liam Doyle. Straight to Damien Quigley, surely put this over. And to TJ Ryan, who's running away from him. Did well initially, but then his touch let him down. Well, he's very annoyed. As they say in rugby, he took the wrong option. This is where Damien Quigley was stealing in here. The cover was very poor because they were expecting a decent hand pass from Liam Doyle. And that's where I thought TJ Ryan just might have it, but his first touch really left him down. Yes. Uh, I, think, I think myself he should have, he should have taken his own, point, his own score because there were two Clermen there, there was a Limerick man, and then there was, there was two on two, so I think um, Quigley should have taken his own score. Colin Flynn's in there alongside Ger Lochnan to attend to Liam Doyle, a hand injury. In terms yeah. of scoring chances so far, Limerick with 18 chances and they've taken seven of them. Clare have had only eight chances, they've taken four. That's some statistic. One of them, of course, a penalty. Turlock Herbert stays back, doesn't reach him. Whipped away instead by Mike Gallagher, inside towards Damian Quigley. Runs on to Pat Heffernan. The corner forward's not running ahead, but it doesn't come for them, and so it's Anthony Daly. Kieran Kerry trying to break it up. Trying to exert even greater influence around that sector of the field as we watch Stephen McNamara. Good run forward by McNamara. Low inside. Taken by Fergie Dewey, and the referee says he was fouled, and it's a free in. A foul committed there by Turla Kerbert from Ahan. At the moment, I think Limerick are, are failing in a number of places. Turlo Herbert is in trouble at left half back. Frankie Carroll is in terrible trouble at right half forward. And Clare aren't taking advantage of those situations. Well, I suppose it's difficult from a Clare perspective. They've been near before, but never quite had the confidence to go the whole way. James O'Connor, the free seemed to run away from, but he gathered it well. And that's his second point, and now the side's level for the fourth time in this monster final. A minute to go to half time. away well towards Stephen McNamara trying to get the better of Steve McDonough to Ian coming in quickly stopped somehow wonderful save by Mike Nash great dispossession and Turner Kerber reading the attentions knocked it clear beyond Shawnee McMahon Anthony Daly trying to gather it up there's Mike Galligan stopped by Frank Lowen Shawnee McMahon again
Humphries has play on. Back down to Dave Clark. Keeping it away from the spot. as if Limerick have it all to do in the second half a point down and against the wind no they're not playing well Tony and there's no doubt about that uh, I would imagine that Clare would be much more happier with their first half performance than Limerick plus the fact that there's a big breeze there now which Clare will have in the second half yeah, the breeze will be an important factor you didn't really use it in that first half we weren't allowed to use it um, Clare stormed into the match we knew first 10 or 15 minutes is going to be terrible physical and terrible intense. Uh, but there's no doubt about it, Claire, at the moment they're going to be a bit better than Limerick. They seem to want it a bit more at the moment. Well, I don't think any team is hungry than Limerick. I don't think we've seen Limerick play as yet. I would imagine it. I would hope that in the second half we will see a different Limerick side. Will we see changes? I don't think so. Um, no, I would imagine Tom will more or less start with the same 15. Uh, he will be telling them that they haven't done themselves justice as yet. And I would like to think that he would give them at least Short break back in a few minutes with the second half. <laughs> 